Did you know that rap history could have been a lot different if it wasn't for multiple floods in the 90s that affected the Wu-Tang Clan? Multiple floods occurred and ultimately resulted in the loss of over 300 beats while also destroying both finished and unfinished songs from the group and its members. The first flood happened right before Method Man's debut album to Cal in 1994 and the second happened right around the release of Raekwon's debut album only built for Cuban links. The flood would heavily affect Cal, but the person who got affected by the flood the most was Inspector Deck. Him and RZA were working on a Spider-Man themed album that was slated for a 1995 release, but the flood crushed those plans. Deck spent over $15,000 to revive the floppy disk that got soaked during the floods, but to no avail. It makes you wonder how much rap history could have been different if these floods didn't occur and ruin RZA's original plan.